Hey, welcome. So uh, this is a short little video on uh, my little project called Scroll This View, which is kind of like the UI table view uh, for the web. Uh, and I'm just going to go through a few examples uh, and visualize how this actual technique works using a, um, a cool tool built into Chrome called Chrome Tracing, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, but firstly, I'm going to show you uh, the example of Scroll This View and the example um, without Scroll This View. Uh, so here we'll look at the one with scrollless view uh, and you can check out these demos on the github repo um, in your own leisure uh, But we can see here. Uh, I've laid out a bunch of cells here I've got eight in here and you can see they've got the uh, order property which is from flexbox Which is what where all the magic happens. It actually um, allows you to reorder and repaint a DOM node um, further down the list without actually actually having to um, alter the DOM itself uh, which is cool so what we can look at here as I scroll you'll see actually what's happened here is it's put padding top to say okay I've shifted a cell and it's increased this number so now it's actually down the bottom uh, and the first cell uh, is uh, the second one now and we just keep increasing that number as you scroll so you can see there's a scroll down and there's a scroll up it uh, counts the numbers down again it knows how to work it out and you see the padding top increases as well and it'll just keep cycling through uh, this example also show uh, also loads in third-party data, so this is all uh, rendered out through a big JSON, um, some JSON data, um, some static stuff I just pulled from Twitter a while ago. Um, and you can see there it actually triggered in a load, so the scroll bar then increases as it has more uh, data come in, which is cool. Okay, so I'll just refresh this so we get a fresh uh, instance. We'll then jump over the timeline and show. Um, how that's working so as I scroll you can see now we want to keep within that 60 frame per second target and you can see we're really doing it really easily um, and two as well without this library you'll you hit under 60 frames a second um, but the real thing is when you start loading data you see now I've actually loaded data and we barely even noticed it on here so to show you the other end look over here uh, this is the same sort of thing, but without scrollless view. So essentially what it does is it grabs all the data from that same uh, JSON payload uh, and renders out like 20 cells. So each page has 20, 20 items within it. Uh, and this doesn't do any fancy uh, cell reordering. So we timeline this one. You can see that's sticking under 60 frames a second just fine. But as soon as we want to load another page, you can see, bam, we get that huge uh, spike there. And that only exponentially grows as I load more pages. You see it actually increase, you know, I load one more page, and it gets bigger and bigger. You can see there you, you we blow out that 60 frame a second, so you're gonna get some jank as you like dynamically load in uh, more data as the user scrolls to the bottom of the scroll view. Whereas with the example here, uh, it's really insignificant as it goes because it's only got a fixed amount of cells uh, depending on the height of the container that uh, scroll this view appears in. All right, so that's a comparison between the two. Uh, let's go one step further. Let's refresh that again. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Chrome Tracing, uh, which I believe is available and stable, but I'm using the one out of Chrome Canary because uh, it has it's a few more features in it. Uh, so essentially to get to it, you just type in Chrome uh, Tracing, like a, a special Chrome URL to get to it. Uh, I assume eventually once this is more polished, it will make it into the dev tools, but right now it's sort of hidden behind this um, this Chrome URL. So we can record, uh, and this gives you a few options. Um, it defaults on web developer, but what we want is graphics and rendering. And this will show um, how uh, how the cell reordering is happening. You can get a sort of a, a nice visualization of what's happening there. So we just hit record, and then what we do is just jump back to our tab, and then we just start scrolling. Scroll up a bit, scroll down a bit, and then we just go back to Chrome Tracing, and then we just uh, we want to stop recording now. And this has a whole bunch of magic behind the scenes. And then we what we want to look at is here. We can get uh, what the browser is actually doing as it's rendering to the DOM, and um, it gives you a nice little 3D view here. So we can zoom in a bit here. You can see there each one of these cells is actually um, 
our list view. So we can jump through uh, the timeline here, and you can see that's that's as I'm scrolling. And you'll notice once I get three cells, so once this one gets out of view here, so that's the current viewport, which is our orange highlight there. Once we get out of that view, almost. There you go. So you can now see that actually the top cell has been repainted because we changed the order property. So now that gets repainted to the bottom of the list. Uh, as we scroll through, we see I've scrolled uh, down again and it's reordering list, list items. And you can see it actually shifts the cells around. And we only really have a fixed amount of cells, but we can uh, display lots and lots of data. Um, I recommend you check out this tool, it's really cool. Uh, that's it, thanks.